Evening, folks. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. I think it's the 16th or 17th of December. This is a continuation video on a suburban uh, forced air heater, propane heater, but a lot of them are common. This is an NT30. NT I'm sorry. Uh, well, here we go. I'm going to turn this around. I'll go over some stuff with you. Today, we're going to talk about the safety circuit. I call it the brown circuit because usually on every safety circuit, whether it's a water heater or a heater of propane type, there is a brown wire. So that's what I've learned there. I'm sure there's one or two heaters out there that don't have a brown wire because somebody changed it, but it's okay. Here we go. I'll show you. So right here is what I said. You got a red wire, pin number one. Remember right. I told you I'm gonna do this step by step. That's pin number one right there, the red wire. All right. Let's see if my dog don't go crazy or with us. He'll probably bite it. Move. See the red wire right there? I'm pointing to it. Green laser. That's pin number one. So, it, pin number one, board to sail switch, normally open. So, when the fan blows, that'll close. All right. Then normally open. That means it's open until something act, activates it, whether it's air, your finger. All right. To the brown wire, brown safety circuit. To the limit switch, over temp, that's this. When this combustion chamber, heat exchanger gets too hot, one, because you back the uh, ducking with something you want. Hey, I'm going to put all the airflow back to the bedroom. That backs up the airflow from the heat exchanger and creates heat, and it opens this switch right here. So you got the brown wire going to it right there. Get it out right there. All right, let me get rid of that little yellow one. There you go. And then it comes up to blue. All right, so to the limit switch, over temp, normally closed. When it gets hot, it opens to the blue wire, back to the control board, pin two. Back to the control board, pin two. So the red and the blue are next to each other. Now I'm going to put you on pause. I got the meter set up if you see it. It says that's blue wire, pin number two, multimeter. And that's the red wire. Let me bend that back a little bit for you. There you go. Red wire, pin number one. And that's where they're hooked up. Okay. So let's do it. I'll put you on pause and get ready to set it. All right, so we're back. These two blue wires coming out of here, this is your main connector that comes from your coach your travel trailer, whatever. This is your thermostat. One of them's hot, one of them's a feed. So here we go. Now watch, as soon as I apply the 12 volts, I'm gonna tell the thermostat to turn on. They pull up, they're both 12. Now I'm gonna let it run and run and run. Now, of course my dog knocks something over. There you go, it's, it's going to the blue wire. There's the red wire and there's the blue wire. Okay, here's the spark. Show you the spark that's happening right there. Stop knocking that over, dog. <laughs> Yay. All right, so that's the safety circuit. And that's, there you go. Look, that's got 12 volts, and this has got zero. All right, so. Oh, he's trying to do it again. He said, hey, I'm good. Got 11.99. Still seeing it. Seeing the red wire. Alright, there we go. That's the third time. It's going to do a lockout. Gonna shut everything off. Wait. Both got 12 on it. It did its third attempt to try to fire up the propane, the gas valve. It did not see no flame. All right, wait, wait. 
Oh, there we go. Let's see how many times that is. I'm trying to see the spark. Yeah, right there, you saw it. I see we still got 12 volts on them too. If you don't see 12 volts on the red and the blue wire, you have an open in the wiring, or you have an open in the uh, sale switch, or you have a opening in the overheat temperature switch, okay? So we're gonna keep doing it, and it's gonna say, hey, man, that's it. I'll try to fire you up a couple times. You can hear the fan running. So blue wire is that meter. Red wire is that meter. Alright, and I'm just gonna show you pretty soon it's gonna figure out, hey, I can't fire up, so I'm shutting you down. It'll shut down the gas valve, and then it'll say, alright, purge all that propane out of there just for safety. Hence the brown circuit. And here we go. Let's see what happens. I'm going to put me a switch on this blue wire thing because my fingers are cramping up. Alright, it's doing it, it's doing it. Fan's still going, fan's still going. It didn't fire up again, so I'm going to hold this for y'all so I don't mess up. Just trying to show you, this is how you troubleshoot this circuit. We're going to go over every other circuit too. Every circuit. Like I did on the water heater for you. Alright, so it's going to purge out. It'll eventually time out. Alright. Now later on, I'll show you there's a control board a wiring harness you put on the control board. It's extend of life. You bring it outside that metal cage right there. It's easier to troubleshoot. Alright, we still got 12 volts on there. Alright. And she'll eventually, she'll eventually say, hey, I'm, I'm out of here. Mm, man, I'm, I'm cramping. My fingers are cramping, folks. I'm going to get past it for you. Okay, here we go. We're going to keep going. The dog being faithful right there. So we're knocking over that multimeter bag. You see that? All right, so we're going over the safety circuit, right? If the fan turns on, then we know we got power down there. And the fan's supposed to. The important part is toggle. All right, so it's still high because the fan's blown. So here we go, here we go. Do, 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 do. folks we're back and the fan finally went off right so that's the red wire okay red wire right there and look the blue wire still has voltage on don't 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 knock this stuff down it's good girl good girl go go lay down or sit on my chair over there go chair come here yeah, come here you're a good girl come here up here there you go lay down Lay down. Don't don't knock my stuff down. All right. So what you're seeing is right there. She went into lockout three times, and it said, "All right, turn the fan off. The thermostat's still engaged. Right? You're still going to have 12 volts coming out. The fan switch opened, breaking the circuit. Now watch. I'll take the 12 volts away. The thermostat. I'll reset it. I'll turn it off. Turn it back on, and you lose 12 volts." All right. This is how that circuit works when it works normal. Okay. Now I'll show you later about this extend a life board. All right. It's a lot easier to add this to any suburban heater. And matter of fact, you can make your own. Uh, some of them are going for fifty dollars. But I'll show you how to make one. You just get the connector that goes to this board here, extra wiring harness, and you bring the board external. All right, so folks, that's how it works when it works normal. If you see that and you fire that fan up and that thing don't close, both of them don't show you 12 volts, that means you have an open in the circuit. Whether it the sales switch didn't close all the way, 
the brown wire is open, the, the red wire to the board is open, sail switch is open, the brown wire is open, or the over temp normally closed switch is open, they no, got hot and just never went back and closed, or the blue wire is open, or the circuit board is bad. So what will you do? You would go from the blue and red with a multimeter and ohms. You would manually close that switch over there. If that circuit proved out good, your board would be bad. If your board's bad, usually you won't see the 12 volts. But I have had one or two that the logic of the board, the 12 volts was at both pins, but the logic of the board didn't see it. So that was the problem with the board. All right, folks, this is Jeff from RV Diagnostics breaking down a, a heater circuit for you. Yes, it's a Suburban. Yes, it's an NT30 or whatever it is, but it's pretty much the same. Every circuit I see that's safety with propane has a brown wire. All right, thank you very much. It's Jeff from RV Diagnostics. What's the famous saying? You're right. Test, not guess. And that's what we just did here. This is, remember, there's going to be more videos on this heater. I don't know, probably 10, 11 videos. I'm going to break it down short, trying to keep them under 15 minutes. What's the other saying? You're right. Safe travels. I mean, your campfires burn bright to the next time I see you, which might be in a video, at a campground, or on the road. Thank you very much.